Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni. Oh dear, dear me, this simply will not do. They will never be ready in time. What's the matter, ma'am? Oh, young man, I'm quite in a predicament. I wanted to give my mother flowers for her birthday, but this plant will just not blossom. Her birthday is just around the corner, and yet this stubborn player refuses to cooperate. No order, poor Deb Swester, or Mom's go, and be none too blazed. Couldn't you put your heads together and come up with some way to help me? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't know much about flowers. Come on, holy boy, you're a wizard, ain't you? We're flipping magic and everything. There must be something you can do. Magic, you say? Oh, please help me out. I would be ever so grateful. Okay, yeah. The flower and the fug. <laughs> okay, I try. I mean, it won't. It would be too bad if your mother was disappointed on her birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I'm counting on you. All right. So, quick and growth. If only the stubborn plant would blossom. Oh, there. Oh, old man, and you have a spell that makes plants grow quicker. Jeez, I've tried this three times. Blooming marvelous thing about it. It didn't flip and work. You're right, Mr. Drippy. Maybe I should try it one more time. Hey, no use, holy boy. You didn't spell willy nilly. We just shortened the poor plant's life. Oh, how awful. We wouldn't want that. I reckon what the plant needs is a decent dose of sunshine. I'm afraid, that su I'm afraid that sunshine is in a rather short supply here in Hamlin. Oh, this plant will never blossom. Go oh, get your nickels in a twist, missus. There might be another solution, like. I forgot why I heard it, but someone said something about a very interesting creature. It looks just like the sun. That's it. If we can get that critter to shine its light on the plant, it might blossom. Hey, sharp you are. That's just what I was thinking, Lolly boy. Okay, let's go find it. We found you the next best thing to sunshine, ma'am. It's Juliana. How extraordinary. It really does look like the sun. Just like the sun. Let's get it to shine sight on your plant. Boom. Plant blossomed. Nito, the flowers are blooming. You're not wrong, Ollie boy. Waste your eyes on those beautiful blooms. Oh, they are simply exquisite. My mother will be over the moon. Swell. Oh, swell. We got to plant a flower in time for your mother's birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I would be honored if you would accept this. Okay. I need to work and I shall leave no stone unturned until I find gainful employment. Say, mister, you sure seem happy for somebody who's out of a job. What's well, not to be happy about my best friend was out of work, so I stepped aside and gave him my job. Jeepers, are you sure that was a smart idea? Oh, it is the very least I could do, truth be told. It is scant repayment for all he has done for me over the years. Wow, he sure sounds like a good friend. Indeed he is. Jobs may come and jobs may go, but a friendship like that is irreplaceable. I would happily give up my livelihood a hundred times over rather than see my poor friend suffer. As he has no role of the mill fell, his off fit to burst with kindness. Say, would you be interested in helping somebody else out? Help somebody else? Certainly! But are you sure I'm the right man for the job? I would hate to let you down. Trust me, you're the right man. Please, mister, we need your help. Oh, who else did you put it like that? How could I possibly refuse? Thank you, mister. Okay, the warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. We obtained some kindness. Oh, this is the most strange sensation, but by no means unpleasant. Now then, young man, you'll always try to help out your friends, won't you? I sure will, gee. I hope me and Phil stay best pals when we grow up. Well, he's showing you how it's done. Follow his lead, and you and Phil will still be at best mates when you're old and gray and wrinkly. Haha, <laughs> you know, Mr. Drippy, you really, you say really smart things sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes, I will flip it out of wisdom. I have you now. Okay. So what's this guy got? Splendid all seems to be in order, just the way I like it. Is it your job to patrol the area, sir, with all these folks around? You sure must be busy. Ah, all of the day's work. Well, it's a little effort if it helps keep Hamlin safe. Wow, you sure do love your job. 
Say, when there's a royal procession, don't you just want to watch and cheer like everybody else? Well, I'm always so busy keeping an eye on everyone during the procession that I really don't have time to think about things like that. Gee, you don't even think about it, huh? You sure are dedicated to your work. Ha, huh, well, there may be one or two occasions where I felt the cheer brewing, but I've never yet given in to the urge. Not single cheer, Mom. Imagine that. Take some serious women to restraint, I'd It sure does. I don't think I could stop myself. It is not my place to have fun. I must watch over you all so that you can enjoy such processions in safety. Thank you, sir. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm, are you in some kind of trouble? No, sir, it's nothing like that. The thing is, I would be just swell if I could take a little bit of your restraint for someone who doesn't have any. Take some of my restraint, you say, and this will help someone to control their unruly urges with it. Sounds jolly good to me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> People are strange. <laughs> like... I say I have a rather pleasant tingling in my chest. I really appreciate it, sir. Good luck with your guard duties. Why, thank you! Your encouragement has inspired me to strive even harder in my work. There's a chest around here somewhere. It's up there. I don't remember where I'm supposed to be for it, though. Over here. No, it's no, it's by one of these light poles. Ah, I hate green chests. All right, I gotta look. I must look it up. Okay. Slightly east of the southwesternmost street lane. There it is. Hey, Clockwork Cleaver. Now, if we actually do um, chart chests. Nearby chests are now visible on the minimap. And they are. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. Just stuff all over the place, right? Okay. There's a guy up here who needs something. I don't end up pot with stuff in it. Threat and damnation, am I not a man? Why must I always lose my nerve? Um, what's the matter, sir? It is a sorry tale, I'm afraid. There's a young lady who I've known since my earliest days, and I would planned to ask for her hand in marriage. Jeepers, that's some... That sure sounds romantic. <laughs> romantic, far from it. I'm afraid I cannot muster the courage to say a single word in her presence. I've known her all my life, and yet now I find myself going out of my way to avoid her. Oh, Mr. Trippy, I'm kind of new to this stuff. Is that normal? Or <laughs> Sounds like a great lack of courage to me. The poor lad's all broken. All broken hearted. And what are we going to do about it? Yeah, okay. Well, gee, we can't just leave him like this. I have to give him back his courage. That's a spirit. Yo, promo gentleman, Ollie boy. Hmm? Or something. Oh. My experiment has succeeded! Well, you sure seem happy. 
Indeed I am! All of my efforts are finally paying off! I have taken a mighty leap forward towards the development of a new type of steam reactor! Congratulations, mister. That sounds just swell. You are very kind, but my work is far from done! I shall not rest until I have perfected my revolutionary steam reactor. Froggy proper fix fire and happy in it. But right, one must have a passion for progress in all its forms. A brighter future waits us all. That lad's got enthusiasm to burn, man. Ask him if he'll give us a lend of it. Um, excuse me, mister. Would it be okay if we borrowed a little of your enthusiasm? Why, certainly, when one's pistons are pumping are pumping spa a base, it would be a shame not to share one's energy. That's just kind of you, mister. Okay, here goes. Take cart. Ah, it is like a cool breeze that has blown across my breast. But this is no time for flowery turns of phrases. It is time to work for a brighter future. Okay, so we have a guy lacking courage. We've cleared all the main street stuff out. I'm getting myself a little turned around here. Wait, where are these other chests? Okay, so there's one there and there's one there. Got it. Oh, we haven't stayed the night here yet, either. I don't really need to see with the Clotter Master or something at this point. Oh, that wasn't the Clotter Master. What is, what is that? No, that, that's, the, that's a Cotter Master. Oh yeah, that's Swift Solutions. I'm not picking up the bounty hunts yet, because I know one of them's kind of like in the way. One of the things, by the way, that you should do, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna do this uh, a little later, when we get the ability to revisit things um, is you should go to the hoot nanny and you should buy and you should buy food right because oh never yeah you should buy um the food from this thing and you should buy the special ingredient from uh, every town because there's black trouble is only available here if you go to um alma moon I believe it's like fresh milk I mean I'm not sure about that I don't remember what it is exactly in uh I don't remember what it is in Ding Dong Dell. But uh there's a there's a there's an errand later that's gonna take one of each of them. So we head up here. We will get a you can't go into the palace message. You don't travelers, I take it. That's right, sir. We've come to Hamlin to meet one of the great sages, and we think he's inside the palace. But that's so, and I suppose you'd like me to let you in so you could have a look for him, right? Am I right? Ha! Huh, great sage indeed, Goodwood boy. Huh? You're obviously not been listening to your emergency decree, as no one's been allowed anywhere near the palace for ages. Ha! <laughs> These trailers, eh? Never seem to have a clue, do they? Um, excuse me. At least we have some menace. I do apologize for my young friend. She was merely unaware of the decree you mentioned, and is regrettably quick to anger. We beg your pardon. So, Swain, what on earth are you? Shh, got an idea. An idea? Alright. 
Was it in got away gets in bears, have you? Yes, it's very simple. We wear disguises. Disguises? Give me a water now, Mom! Have you noticed the guards' faces can't be seen under that armor they're wearing? What you're saying we're going um, What you're saying we're going to have to wear those awful pig suits? Where will we get them, Swain? We're not going to have to steal it, are we? Bart down, Mon, seriously! <laughs> Alright, everybody just stay calm. I told you about the black market they have here in Hamlin, right? Well, they'll definitely have some pig armor for us there. We just got to go and get it. Really, Crocky, look who's got all the answers, eh? Hmm, I don't see why it couldn't always be like this... this useful. She really does not like him. It's kind of funny. Wait a minute. Okay, fine. Fine. Later, by the way, there'll be a warp that takes us from the front part of this town all the way to this main street. Super handy. We could take kindness back to the shopkeeper in uh, the fairy ground. How are we doing, though? For our, our cards. We have one completed. It's not really worth it. Right? We'll have other stuff to do later. I mean, maybe if we got the bounty hunts done, it would push us over the edge. Maybe I should pick them up. They're not the biggest deal in the world. That is, again, the Cotter Master. I mean, if I, I definitely, if I, if I did bounties, caught Derwin's monster. Did that errand? I think we would be good. Uh, and I just overshot the black market because it's actually a hard left right here. A hard left right? What's a hard left right? Yeah, this guy actually will block the way. Normally, this is as far as I'd let an outsider get, but that fellow here with shared some rather juicy gossip with me. In exchange for which I'm going to turn a blind eye, how'd you go? Well, thanks, criminal. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. It was all another waste of time. Waste of time? What do you mean, sir? It's my sister. You see, she has always been poorly, and I've devoted my life to try to find a cure. Gee, it sounds like you both had a hard time. I hope you find a, that cure for her soon. Well, if I was at the verge of completing a remedy, I felt sure would cure her, but now I wonder why I bothered. Huh? But you were nearly there. I fear it has been a fruitless exercise all those years I've wasted. Bah! Perhaps nothing can be done for her. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life on a fool's errand. I did my best, but it is over, and she must accept that. Uh, Mr. Drippy, I think this man might be... Hey, shop boy, boy, you got in one? He's broken hearted, no mistake, lacking kindness he is. Oh, well, no, we definitely need kindness for this guy. If things stay like this, his sister will never get well. He'll never be happy, we have to do something. Hey, goody, you, all boy, now remember, it's kindness we're after. Scrib it on your hand so you don't forget. Hang on, you got a spider sc a spot kindness by there, ain't it, Ollie boy? Well, what you wait for? Cast give heart, man. I've been playing at. Dodd Lake Hero, my dear sister, suffers? Nino, you got your kindness back. Now you're cured. It's time to cure your sister. You have my deepest gratitude. Now on with my research. Ah, but it double slipped my mind. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your sterling work. You have saved two lives today. Two bottles of Pixie Dew, 500 guilders. A reward well worth it. But, and now he's instantly another thing. This is a calamity! My supplies have run dry and I was so close to finishing! Is something wrong, sir? I was on the verge of completing this medicine for my poor ailing sister, but I have run out of ingredients. Jeez, what's rotten luck? You must be real worried about her, huh? Yes, indeed I am at present. She is convalescing in Castaway Cove, but if I could cure her, she could... Come on, she could... She could... She could home and live with me. You mean she's stuck there until you finish making her medicine? Jeepers, no wonder you're working so hard. 
I actually have a small favor to ask of you, if I may. Would you be so kind as to collect some feel-good fungus for me? Yes. You would? Oh, that's simply splendid. That would be a huge help. You should find feel-good fungus growing in the forest to the west of the city. Okay, sir, leave it to us. Thank you so much. Now, wait a minute. They want carrot cake for that. So, let me see what I have in my bottomless bag for food. Do I have a carrot cake? I have a cake. Do I have a carrot? I have a carrot. Okay. I need three carrots. Yeah, you know what? Before we do this thing for this guy, um, let's actually, uh, because what I want to do is I want to go out, I want to collect the things on the overworld map. I want to, I mean, at least in this little area. And I want to overworld map things in this area. Uh, I want to try to get Derwin's creatures. Part of the problem with that is I got to go back to the fairy ground to get the cog guy, I think. But the little metal guy and the big metal guy are, well, shouldn't be too hard. They're all over the place. The big metal guys are standard sprites out there. And uh, there may be some other things I want to do. You can make a really good... Uh, there's a really good alchemy thing we can do. Why did I, ran, I, ran, I, ran, I ran right by the place. I mean, super by the place. Like, way by the place. It was right by the edge of the black market. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go do some of I'm gonna go do that errand. I'm going to No, I don't need five hundred dollars worth of the dumb the dumb things. Uh yeah. I'm gonna do that errand and some other some other stuff. Pick up some things from the overworld. Uh, maybe I should select the bounties here and get those taken care of. I'll see you guys for all that uh, in post-commentary.